Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about the California recall election and the results and the storyline that's going along with those results in a lot of the reporting and how that is not the story I see. Um, to catch you up, in case you don't know, the governor of California, a Democrat named Newsom, was facing a recall election. Okay. At time of filming, the election has been called, and, and Newsom won. He's staying in office, and he won big, 65%. I mean, that, that's, that's sizable. There, there's no debate about that. However, the storyline that's going along with this is that this is a rebuke of Trumpism, and it shows that Trumpism is on the decline. It's not... Um, a win, Trumpism isn't gone, but this is evidence that it's not really gaining ground. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that. Um, the Washington Post, at time of filming, says that 34.8% of people voted in favor of the recall. Okay, Again, that's a small number. And the election monitoring side, 538, um, they have it at a cool 35% in favor of the recall. So there's no doubt that Newsom won. But, okay, a Democrat won in California. Stop the presses. You know, that's not actually a surprise at all, really. So I don't see this story saying that... This is a rebuke of Trumpism, that Trumpism lost simply because the Republican candidate was endorsed by Trump. Because the reality is, in 2020, Trump got 34.3% of the vote. If current uh, percentages hold, Trumpism gained ground in California. I don't see the story that is being reported. I don't see the uh, the reason that you know champagne bottles are being popped. Historically speaking, it's uh, ill-advised to underestimate a cult of personality that has spawned an ideology. Throughout history, underestimating those ideologies has been a bad move. I don't see the decline of Trumpism because of this election. Best case scenario, we're holding the line. Worst case, Trumpism is gaining a little bit of ground. Now, there's still more votes to count, and that percentage could change a little bit. But it really does appear as though nothing has changed since 2020. And while, sure, the Democrats won this, and in that sense, yes, Trumpism didn't win. But those numbers really didn't change. I do not see the storyline that is kind of being widely reported. A Trump-backed candidate lost in California. Okay. I don't know that that's a real barometer for the overall... Uh, for the overall discussion of this. I don't know that we should be paying that, that close of attention to it in the sense that even if it had gone the other way and Newsom picked up a few points over 2020, it's California. I don't know that that's really that important. But given the fact that the numbers didn't change, I certainly don't see a reason to celebrate. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.